it's, it's really great that we deliver this DKVM. We're incredibly proud and excited about this. But along the way, I think we just also got much, much more uh, interconnected, stronger as the team, more convinced about our mission and the fact that we actually can uh, contribute a lot to this industry and hopefully to, to the world. And yeah, with this, I would just actually hand it over to the actual hero and the person who made his mission to deliver the ZKVM, which is my good friend uh, and co-founder, Jordi Balina. And thanks, you. thanks everyone again. Thank you, thank you, Mihailo, for for those words. Uh, yeah, I'm not the hero. It's like I'm just an engineer, just trying to just trying to scale with you. That's what I'm. So um, uh, to start the talk, uh, I would like to start a little bit from the origins. Uh, when we finished uh, from Polygon Hermes, when we finished the first version of the rollup uh, payment solve rollup Polygon Hermes. Uh, we, I was in Zook and, and, and at that point, uh, a very good friend, Barry White Hat, came to my home and he challenged me about the ZK VM. Uh, we believe actually when the first time he told me about that, I told him this is impossible and this is impossible to do, but he just insisted in thinking in the different pieces. Uh, we were, well, we were just uh, trying to see Okay, let's do the exercise, uh, how we can do that. And, and we were like going to the different, uh, to the different challenges, to the different critical points. And we we're solving most of them uh, in a very complex way a lot of times. But uh, it, it, we had the intuition at that point that uh, things were possible. And, and, and we started to dig on that. And, and, and there was a moment where most of the big challenges that we had is okay. They are solved at that point. So this is really this could be possible. Okay. And it was at this point that I start uh, first convincing uh, my partners at that point, David and, and, and Tony. And uh, well, first uh, here also Barry helped me a lot to to convince them that this is a feature. I think we can do that on that. And then I did a presentation in Paris, just explaining the community uh, how uh, I believe this could be possible. And here it started the the real you know the the, the project. It started uh, not a lot, but we go with a small team uh, uh, with from the harvest uh, from the harvest team, and uh, there was a here a crucial uh, a crucial moment that was the the merge with Polygon. This actually was fundamental because this that really allows to put all the resources that we needed to build uh, to build all, all this. Uh, with this, we just built a, a team. I just got uh, the best professionals, the best people that I knew that could deliver on that. I convinced them to join this team. To therefore, uh, together with the people that already was in their best, we built uh, what I believe is the best team in the world, uh, the team that can, can really build that. We started to work hard uh, for a year. And in Paris, uh, one year later, we presented the could be a prototype if you want, want to do the first version. That was a full prover. It was a, a prover that really was terminated. That was terminated. That was okay. This this was one. This was last July, and since there, of course, we continue just uh, improving this prover. A lot of optimizations, things. And, and in, in October last year, we launched the the, the public testnet. That was another huge milestone. And since there. Mainly, we have been working really hard, mainly focused on security, security auditing, checking, double checking, doing internal audits, dealing with external audits, building, rebuilding parts of the code, cleaning the code, and, and, and until we feel comfortable uh, with the code that uh, we have right now. And here is where we are. Uh, and we are today at the day, uh, the day that we have been cleaning. Uh, very much that a day that was uh, uh, that seems like impossible three years ago, and it's uh, when I see these magic days where an engineer uh, just uh, put the, produ the things in production. It's like truly really when the things are start getting useful for the people. So this is the important point of the or the important point of the of the launch. Another thing that I want to announce now, and I think that's also very important, is that. Uh, uh, today we are not only launch. 
we're not only launching, we're also uh, open sourcing all the code. And when I mean open sourcing, it's not making available, has been available for the last six months, but we're also putting a GPL license and a GPL license to all the repos of the approval. I think this is an important gift uh, for the community and I'm very proud uh, to announce that. And before uh, finishing, I wanted to share uh, three seconds. Three seconds why we were able to build uh, these things uh, so fast. The first uh, is experience that we got in the first roll-up. Uh, in the Hermes one, this was uh, really, uh, I mean, all the, all, all the learnings that we got from there, uh, they are applied uh, some, some way uh, to this, uh, uh, to this roll up, to the, to this AKBM. The second part is architecture. I think that here we did very good decisions in the, how you design the architecture. We divide the architecture in layers. We have a low layer, which is the, the, the cryptography layer okay, that talks about uh, polynomial commitments, Stark, Plongs, and all this recursion about flows, and this is an important, this has been an important layer. Another layer is the, the arithmetization. Uh, just uh, with this, is, sometimes it's equivalent. Uh, we have this signal of uh, uh, the hardware layer. It's sometimes a hardware layer. It has nothing to do with hardware, but we call it the hardware layer because it's this low layer, this arithmetization. We build the language for uh, working in this layer. We call this language view, and uh, we build the processor on top of this layer kind of be a specific processor uh, to execute things uh, as a normal processor. And on top of that is the software layer, or we call the ROM layer, which is actually the program that's running on, on top of this processor. To build this program, we had to build an assembly uh, for this processor, and then the program, that's actually the, the program that actually uh, uh, emulates the, the ABM and actually uh, runs the, the ABM altogether. And all these stack, uh, in layers allows us to have different teams uh, working in parallel, each one in one of these layers. And not only that, for example, for auditing, having also different audits running in parallel with different specialized teams working uh, together in there. And this is what allows us to to to, to build the things uh, uh, so fast. And the last track, and the last secret that I want to share, there are many more, but the last secret that I want to share is the the team uh, here. The the you know this amazing team already mentioned before, but this amazing team, a uh, team that's absolutely, co has been absolutely committed, working day, night, and weekends for the last two years, because they believe in this project, and uh, learning together, because it's like you create a language, and then you need to learn about that language, and then uh, you need to go back and forth, and has been a huge effort, but at the same time, has been uh, also a, a pleasure. We enjoy it, and, and, and it was so, I mean, uh, we had so fun also build that and, and these both things together this has worked this professionalism of the team and this uh, uh and, and this uh enjoy uh, enjoy the work that has been done is what uh, allows us to 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 build this uh, uh this product uh this uh, uh polygon ckvm uh, so fast so in order to uh launching in order to really do the real launch uh, we decided to, well, uh, uh, that the way to do, we, we decided that the, the good way to do would be that, uh, uh to invite, uh, Vitalik to do the symbolic first transaction of this, uh, uh, of this EKVM. So I would like to invite Vitalik just to do, uh, this, uh, to do this transaction. Hello Vitalik. And thank you very much for, uh, accepting this, uh, this is actually next. Let's see if everything works. This is a little bit risky, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, no, no, no. Hi, uh, hi, Jordi. It's uh, good to be here. Good to see all of you guys. Um, okay, I shall, uh, I guess, uh, click present, and uh, then I click on here, and then okay, great. So let's see. Okay, you see my MetaMask zero point zero one ETH. I'm connected to the Polygon zkVM, right? I, okay, so you, then you did the bridge before, so that's I did. I did indeed. I did the bridge before. Okay, so then I have to send. Uh, what address should I send to? Um. With... Okay, let's uh, go on Polygon ZKVM. We'll check this uh, most recent transaction, and how about we'll take whoever sent it. 
um, some of the sent to them, um, and then sent to them 0 0.005 ETH. Um, set the gas a little bit, but 6042 have some more mean value. And then click next. Yes. Maybe you want to put a message there or something. Okay, okay. How, how, how do I put a message again? I, uh, I would show you. I was just, uh, look, I was looking this up and like GPT told me to like click on advanced options, but I don't see advanced options. Oh, it's not the mind. So sure. Okay. But just do the, just do the normal transaction. That's, that's, that should be fine. And okay, you can yeah, share with us the message. Sure. Sure. Okay. Is there, okay. So did, do you know how to like add call data by the way? Uh, um, like, would you, yeah, I mean, you think the advanced options, I show the data somewhere. Right. Right. But I just like, like, I don't see the advanced options field. That's the thing, right? <laughs> I cannot see very good the, the screen, but that's let me see. Uh, it's here. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, um, just to show the data. Uh, I need the previous one. It's the configuration of MetaMask. Ah, uh, the configuration. Just just go to the configuration of MetaMask. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Um, okay, hold on. Can I control zero again? Click on Polygon. Um. Uh, hold on. Oh, where, where, where do I go for? Just maybe um, you need to cancel, can, maybe cancel this and just go to the, okay. Just go to the configuration. Oh, then, then there we go. Okay. Perfect. So I got to add network and then I just go back to networks and then Polygon ZKVM and then that. no, that's okay. But that, that's okay. That's, uh, which, which is in general, maybe not, uh, it's pretty rules. Advanced in advanced, a second advanced. Oh, 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 I see. Okay. Advanced state. I mean, that's gas control. Yeah, show that, but you, you, you're just the up, uh, show, show that by uh, this one. Just, yeah, there we go. Yeah, just okay, close this. Uh, yeah. Just yeah, okay, let's actually again. Okay, let's see how this works. Um, okay, we're gonna click send. Send to this address. Send to, oh, there we go, 0 0.005. Oh, okay. Um, okay, set this to a meme number. And then over here, okay, great. I have to create some hex data. Okay, hold on. Let me just make, make the hex data first. Uh, let's see. I need something something corny. I'll, I'll, I'll deliver corny. Okay, is that corny enough for you? That's perfect. Okay. Uh, amazing. Okay. Going back here, um, send, uh, send to the zero X seven, whoever this is 0 0.005. That's all I got. So it has to go to a mean number. Um, and then X data zero X or whatever this is. Um, no, I would mean number. Okay. Next. I just, and then confirm. Okay, send pending. Amazing. Just it should now go forward. Mm hmm Okay, and it says success. Um it's good. Okay. So we have so maybe yeah, you can see the data there. We are already mm -hmm. showing that. Just show it in and show just the select show <laughs> There we there go. There we go. Okay. okay. I can we made it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was not asleep for that. For that word. Yeah. So, Amazing. So happy. Yeah. So I think, Grace, we can continue. We, we, we have the first attraction there. That's a bit, Jay. That's a Well, now we have officially launched CQVM Mainnet Beta. And we love turning. We love it. Mm -hmm. So uh, now there's a big welcome to our community, to our developers, to our builders. And um, we just want to say that we're going to share everything that you need to know about Mainnet Beta at 6.30 the Central European time or at 4.30 GMT time. So with that and with this excitement, we will continue with a five-side chat. And we will invite now Vitalik and Jordi to stay in. And no better person to take this fire chat on than Mihailo. Take it on. <laughs>